Project management concepts may seem tough at times, but not to worry. You have a coach who makes it as easy as ABC. Here he is to set things straight for you, your friend Phil. Hello my friends, welcome to our daily drill for today. On today's daily drill, we're going to continue from where we stopped a few days ago. We're taking a look at intersection points. Again, this is for those who are gradually climbing up to get to perfection on page 25. For those of you that have already perfected page 25, as we go through this, I'm going to be posing to you even more challenging questions about the basics that you already know. So let's jump into it and get started. So today, I'm going to be asking you to work on the intersection points of the longer knowledge areas. So let's start off with the first knowledge area. The first knowledge area that I have is none other than scope. So scope management and I would like you to think about how scope intersects with planning. Does this scramble your thinking around a little bit? Because I have replaced what used to be at the top. It's just a grid. It's a matrix. So however you look at it, it's an intersection of scope and planning. So my question to you, when you intersect scope and planning, and when you intersect scope and monitoring and controlling, what do you get? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about it, and then I'll show you the answers. Go. Five, four, three, two, and one. So what I expect you to do is use abbreviations to go through the content. In your head, dump it down. So let's take a look at these very quickly. The first one is plan scope management. Management. For those of you that have already mastered this, my question to you is, what are the two outputs of plan scope management? Second process, collect requirements. Again, my question to you, those of you who are advanced with it, is what are the outputs of collect requirements? I'm looking for two unique outputs. Next one, define scope. What is the one major output of defined scope? Think about it. The fourth one is create WBS. What is the one major thing you get from create WBS and what is the major tool and technique used here? All right. So that's that for planning. Going into monitoring and controlling, we have validate scope. What is the one major thing you get from validate scope? And lastly, control scope. Could you tell me three recurring things that you get from control scope? Think about it. All right, so what are the answers to what I was talking about? Well, plan scope management is going to give you the scope management plan and the requirements management plan, okay? Collect requirements is going to give you the requirements traceability matrix and requirements documentation. Define scope is going to give you the project scope statement. Create WBS is going to give you the scope baseline, which contains three things. Do you know which three things they are? The WBS, the WBS dictionary, and the project scope statement. You've got to remember these things. Let's go over to monitoring and control in. Validate scope gives you accepted deliverables when the customer accepts the deliverable. And control scope, it gives you work performance information. It gives you change requests. Right? WPI and change requests. Is there any other thing that you could get from here? Go do some research, find out those recurring themes. But for now, 
This is what you have for scope. Let's make it a lot bigger. Okay. So you've got plant scope management, collect requirements, define scope, create WBS, validate scope, control scope. The outputs, the scope management plan, the requirements management plan, requirements traceability matrix and requirements documentation from collect requirements, define scope, we have the project scope statement, create WBS, we use decomposition majorly to do this. We get the scope baseline, validate scope, we get accepted deliverables and control scope, we get WPI, we could also get change requests. Now I throw out a challenge to you to go through the entire PMBOK guide look for commonalities. Did you ever realize that wherever you get work performance information, you have work performance data going in there as well as an input? There's things to notice, okay? And that's it, my friends, for today. That's the end of the drill. It's a short one, but I want you to go away mastering not only the processes, but also the outputs. And again, don't forget, we actually have a boot camp coming up. We have the PMP exam tech camp. And I want you to be aware of the tech camp in case you're struggling with some of these areas like the WBS or you're struggling with schedule management, head on down to the website that you see on the screen. The website that you see there is www dot pmradio.org pmradio.org and you can sign up there for the training we're currently giving away a ridiculous deal for this see so just head on down to pmradio.org as you see on the screen and as you see here it, it states that every Saturday for the next four weeks 3 30 p.m. Eastern to 7 30 p.m. Eastern we're going to be hitting the PMBOK guide in the jaw. We want you to be part of it. So head on down. Let's see you there. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Bye for now.